Thank you for joining my channel today. I am Amanda, this is Be More Fitness, and today we are doing a chair-based workout. So if you have a lower body injury or disability, this might just be the perfect workout for you. All you will need is a sturdy chair, preferably with no arms to it. And if you have a low set of weights, you can use those as well. Just be sure to have them available to you on a little table next to you so that you can easily get to them when we are ready to use them. Make sure that you are sitting comfortably with your bottom as far back in your chair as it will go. And we're going to start with some deep breaths. So reach your arms up overhead, really reaching to that furthest point as you fill your lungs up to their fullest capacity. And then exhale, letting everything go. We're going to do one more after this one. Lovely. Now let's reach our shoulders up to our ears, lift up and then push down. Really squeeze the shoulder blades towards each other behind your back. And then let's do some big shoulder rolls. Push them forward, up, back and down. And back to those shoulder shugs. Here we go, up and down. Lovely, we're just warming up the shoulders because we're going to be using our arms quite a bit today. And here we go with those shoulder rolls again. Nice big circles. Right, this next one I love. Reach your arms out and isolate your ribs over to the right and then to the left. You want to keep the cheeks of your bottom glued to that seat so that all of the movement is in the ribs. Now by extending your arms as wide as you can, your arms remain activated and this is also warming up your lower back and your torso. Let's make a big circle. So right, bring your ribs forward, left and back. We're going to do four big circles in each direction. Once again, really gluing those hips and those glutes to your chair. It is a very odd feeling, but it works beautifully. Let's go over to the other side. Now, depending on your flexibility, you might not get a lot of movement here, and that's okay, as long as you can feel the muscles warming up. We're going to come back to our arms now, so bring your ribs back to center. Reach the arms forward and then reach out to the side. Lovely, keep your arms shoulder height if you can. And let's do one more like this. And then the next time we're going to reach the arms up overhead, reach as high as you can. Still warming up the arms, the upper back, especially the shoulders. And here is your last one. Now bring your right hand to the side of your chair as you reach over to the side. Now we're going to do four of these, so if you need to slow it down, that's absolutely fine and just do two of them. We're really aiming to reach over as far as we can, stretching out the side of the body. Now bring your hands behind your head and we're going to lean forward, trying to bring our belly buttons onto our thighs. Now make sure that you're pulling your elbows as far back as possible. Squeeze your shoulder blades towards each other and keep your back straight. Your neck is also an extension of your spine, so ensure not to let your head drop forward or crunch backwards. Lovely. This is actually an exercise for the back rather than anything else, even though it looks like a crunch. Now we're coming into a twist for our next exercise. So if you can move forward on your chair and open the legs, hands still stay behind the head as you reach for the opposite foot, rotating in the torso. So you want to twist in the shoulders and reach for the outside of your leg. Of course, you can do this exercise without being forward on the chair. So if you don't have that ability to move forward, then please just remain seated and do the twisting. Now for the next exercise, we are going to be doing some leg lifts. So knees up one knee at a time and then extend one leg at a time and now if this is not a possibility for you then continue in the previous exercise still reaching down towards that opposite side of the leg if you are doing this leg exercise hold the tummy in tight use your hands on the chair to help support your back if you need that good grow tall make sure you're breathing This is your last set and extend. Excellent. Right, so if you were sitting forward, now you can move back in your chair and then pick up your weights, which should hopefully be next to you and easily accessible. 
we're starting off with bicep curls and we're going one arm at a time. Now lock those elbows into your waist and make sure you have full range of motion here. And what I mean by that is that you need to make sure your hand is coming all the way up to your shoulder and all the way down. Now we are going to come into two arms at the same time. Here we go. But of course, if you're wanting to stay one arm at a time, feel free to do that. Excellent. Keep going. Keep holding your tummy tight as you grow up tall and make sure that just the biceps are working. Great job. Now we are going to come into some lateral raises. So bring your hands in towards your body, bend your elbows at about 90 degrees, and then you're going to lift your arms to the sides, trying to bring the elbows and hands up in line with your shoulders, but no higher than that. Keep your shoulders relaxed. And then if you need to make this a little bit harder, then extend your arms out to the side by straightening in the elbows. And of course, if you need to make it easier, you can bend your arms more or just place those weights down to the side. And one more before we coming into some shoulder presses. So bring those weights to your shoulders before opening the elbows and extend the arms up overhead and bring back down. Now make sure you can see your weights in your peripheral vision and that your weights are not going too far behind your head. We're only doing eight of these and then we're going to come into some butterflies. So here's your last one. And then bring those elbows together and back out. Now try to keep your elbows to your shoulder parallel to the ground. Once again, we're only doing eight of these. So four more, three, two, and here's your last one. Excellent. Let's bring those arms down as we come back into bicep curls. So starting again with one arm at a time, remembering to do the full range of motion and also keeping your elbows locked into your waist. Now you want to pull your tummies in tight and relax your shoulders. We're going to do one more on each arm before we come into a double bicep curl. So bring both arms all the way up and all the way down. Excellent. We've got four more here. Relax the shoulders, grow up tall, tummies tight. And last one. We're going to come into our lateral raises, so bend your elbows and then lift up elbows and wrists to no higher than your shoulders. Keep breathing with the movement. Excellent. Here come your shoulder presses. So take those arms up overhead. Once again, making sure that you can see your weights in your peripheral vision. Grow up tall, pull the shoulder blades towards each other behind your back. Here's your last one and butterflies. Nice job. You've got the rhythm. So just keep moving. Keep remembering your posture, keep growing tall. We are nearly there. And one more. And then bring your hands back down and give those shoulders a little shake. Oh, that feels good. Excellent, we're moving on to our next exercise, which is a side dip. So we're going to be working our obliques here. Now you can sit at the front of your chair if you wish, but you can also do this sitting further back. I prefer to sit forward so that my feet can touch the ground as I'm super short. All right, so you want to really squeeze in the side here, making sure that you are moving side to side and not twisting the shoulders at all. So always think about your posture, feeling as if you stuck between two panes of glass and you can only move to side to side. You have one more on each side and then bring your weights into your chest as we come into some twists. Now keep this slow for now, pulling the ribs in towards your spine and pulling your belly button in. So once you've got the feeling of this twist, you can start to speed it up. You can keep this movement as small as you need to, as long as you can feel it in the abs. Now we're going to add a little arm here, so slow it right down again, and we're going to add a punch forward. Now this is optional. You can carry on with the twists that you were doing before, and then let's speed it up. Four more at this speed, and then we're going to slow back down again. So here we go, slow it down. Two more slow, and then speed it up. Here we go, eight, seven, six, five. Keep that twist going with the shoulders, and slow it down again. 
You are doing great. Two more slow and speed it up. Here we go. Keep focusing on your shoulders being relaxed, tummies tight, slow it down. Two more slow and then we're going to speed it up one last time. Eight, seven, six, five, four more three and two and one that was great we're coming into triceps now i love working the triceps and you've got two options here for triceps so pull the elbows back and as high up as you can and extend your arms out to the back so from the side view you can see there's no movement from my shoulder to my elbow now if you prefer you can take your arms up overhead keeping your elbows staring up at the sky and dropping your weight slowly and gently towards your upper back now we're not going to do too many more of these just four more you should already be feeling that burn in the tricep area here's your last one and then get ready for a chest press with an extension of the leg. Now you can leave the legs out completely as we really do just want to focus on the arms if there has to be a choice between one or the other. Keep your arms parallel to the ground if possible. Grow up tall, tummies in. So everything that I've been saying this whole video, you want to focus on that. And one more. Now our next exercise, we're going to be doing some cross punches with an optional leg out to the side. Now as you reach your arm to the diagonal, really aim to pull the shoulders around so that you're getting that twisting movement as before. You are doing great, keep going. Excellent, stay strong, pull your tummies in tight. And remember that at any point you can drop the weights. You don't need to keep going with the weights if it's becoming a little bit too much. And finish it off with one more on each side. And then we're going to come into some reverse butterflies. So if possible, move forward onto your chair. Make sure you're pushing your chest out. Squeeze the shoulder blades together as you lift the arms up. Now you really want to lean forward with this exercise because if you are sitting up straight, you're really just doing a lateral raise. By leaning forward, you are forcing the muscles between your shoulder blades to do the work. So lean as far forward as possible, open up the chest and lift up those arms, squeezing the back. Are you starting to feel the burn yet? I know that I am. Keep going, nearly there. Here's your last one. Nice job and come into a seated position. Now this one is a bit funny. It's like a seated jumping jack. So if you can only use the arms, then reach the arms up into a wide V. If you can, however, balance on your bottom and tap your heels out to the side. Good, now the further back you lean, the more you're going to be working your abs. Have a little bit of fun with this one. If you've got to look silly, you might as well laugh at yourself. Excellent job, keep going. And that was your last one. Nice job. Now we've got a little bit of coordination here. So we're coming into a lateral raise and then pushing forward. Lift up your hands as you come into a butterfly. Open up the elbows and then push up into a shoulder press and come back down. Shoulder press again, because we're going to reverse this routine. Bring the elbows to tap each other open wide, bring the hands down and push forward. So all of these movements we have already done in this video. So if you can just try and remember to drop the shoulders, to keep the hands parallel to the floor or the elbows parallel, to keep your weights in your peripheral vision and you'll be absolutely fine. There we go, we've got to get the brain working as well. Let's do that two more times. Bring the elbows in, then take it up. Reverse it, take it up, bring it in. Now push it forward, drop the hands first and then aim forward. Good, excellent job. Can you do one more? I know it's burning. Let's reverse it, up we go, up, bring it in. Hands down and push it forward. Woo, nice one. Give those shoulders a little shake. And then place your weights down to the side, preferably on a table so you don't need to bend down. Now we're reaching up and coming to the side into a quick twist. Pull your tummy in 
and then once you've got this if you can we're going to add an, a leg movement as well there we go so we lifting up driving up that opposite knee and that's going to intensify the crunch and of course if you aren't able to lift the knee then you just keep going with the arms and that is perfect right we're going to come over onto the other side so get ready for that keep going and swap so we've changed sides now reaching for the opposite side and then coming down get ready to pull that knee in here we go and knee knee so again the more you drive that knee up the more intense you're going to make the crunch and that twist keep going nearly there keep breathing you've got two more and let's sprint it out so as fast as you can get your arms and your legs going this is our cardio bit so you want to get your heart rate up burning the calories so let's go fast as you can and then slow it right down so either come into this type of jog or maybe just slow the arms right down while you slow your breath we're going to go into the sprint again so go 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 fast as you can come on you especially want those arms to be moving as fast as possible keep breathing hold the tummy in super tight and slow it right down so once again pulling the knee up or just slowing the arms down excellent slow that breath down are you ready again we're going to go in that sprint go 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 come on you can do this you can go as fast as possible even faster come on you've got this let's go Woo! nearly there <laughs> all right and let's slow it down here we go breathe take a deep breath in nice job everyone we're going to come into a stretch just breathe deeply. We're gonna take our arms forward, reach as far forward as you can, tuck your chin in, round out the spine, and then take your arms behind your back or hold onto your hips and take the chest up. All right, so let's stretch out those shoulders. So you pull one arm across your chest and then pull towards you. Excellent, now lift that arm up and down your back and then pull the elbow as far back as you can while lifting up tall, pulling your tummy in. Nice job, let's come over to the other arm. So cross your chest and then pull towards you. And then up and down your back. Excellent, we're going to open our arms really wide. So reach your arms side to side and lift the fingers up. So by pushing your palms as far away from you as you can and dropping your shoulders, you should get a beautiful stretch from your palms all the way into your um, armpits. Right, extend one leg to the front, flex the toe, and then reach the belly button forward. So you really want to try push your bottom out and get into the legs. Let's change. Once again, really straighten out the back. Excellent. Now, if you can, cross one foot over your knee, let that knee open, and then once again, lead with the belly button. Try get your belly button onto your calf muscle here. Good job, and then we're going to change sides. Now, feel free to take longer in your stretches. You do not need to rush through them the way I'm doing it now. You really want to take your time with stretching so that you get the sufficient stretch for your body. Now, let's come into a side stretch. So bring one hand to the side of your chair and reach the opposite arm up and past your head and reach over to the side. Keep both cheeks of your bottom glued to the seat and then come over to the other side when you're ready. You have done a great job today let's take two deep inhales reach the arms up fill the lungs feel your ribs separating as you do so and really feel proud of yourself you did really well now if you enjoyed this video please consider subscribing to my channel um, I upload videos every two weeks occasionally every week and occasionally every day depending on what is going on on the schedule so if you don't want to miss any of my videos by subscribing and by hitting that bell you will be notified every time I upload a new video also please like and share this video if you feel that someone might be able to benefit from it have an excellent rest of your day and I hope to see you really soon goodbye for now you still here I know you want to click on that video go on just click it what can you lose 
It's only another awesome video which I know you're going to love so go on just click on that video let's do another workout together come on you know you want to haha <laughs>